sustainability in the design industry is not really just looking at buildings at the moment. It's about looking at what they are in 50 years time and over the life of the building. The construction industry is probably one of the largest polluters of all industries and so we feel it is our responsibility to minimise that. Hello, I'm Amy Hallett and I'm one of the directors from Topology Studio and we are the architects for House at Otago Bay. My name's Mel Shutt. Um, I am the owner of the property. My husband and I have lived in uh, large properties previously with multiple living spaces and, and multiple bedrooms. We really wanted a small footprint to feel like we can be part of the landscape while we are inside the house. Otago Bay is located on the River Derwent in Hobart. It's actually quite a long, narrow block with a house on the adjacent property and we really sighted the building so that it turned its back and looked across and down the river. The house is very modest on approach. You come down the driveway and around the boat shed to a small forecourt in front of the house. As you walk through into the main living space, both the wall opens up and the ceiling raises, which brings in the top of Mount Wellington. The ceiling is a continuous curve from one end of the house to the other, which can make a space that's not actually that large feel much bigger because it's not boxed in or margined by frames. The kitchen has a door directly to a terrace and you go down four steps to a lower terrace so that you don't have outdoor furniture in the way of your view. There are stairs off the main hall down to the lower ground floor in which there's a bedroom and an ensuite. This is partially set into the ground and you get a real sense in looking at across grass level to the water. We've brought the external facade right into side of the house. There's a very seamless connection from inside to out. And the blurring of those lines that really make this house feel connected to its environment. Very early on, we were looking at the tones of the landscape. and we just wanted something that sat here quietly and calmly. The concrete blocks are manufactured locally here in Tasmania. It was really important when you're using a singular material inside and out to try and find something that didn't need to be imported. Tasmania is an island and anything that's shipped you need to allow for a lot of wastage and there's also a lot of embodied carbon in that transport. So the very first instance is thinking which way the building needs to face not only in terms of views, but to maximise bringing winter sun into the property, but also the exclusion of summer sun. The masonry and the concrete floors provide a high level of thermal mass. So in the winter, the low level sun can enter through the large windows and warm the slab, and then hold on to that heat during the day and then release it again at night. In the summer, the opposite happens. Sun is kept off the slab by the blinds on the western facade and also by the overhang on the north. The house is entirely electric. There's no connection to gas. Much of that electricity is supplied via the solar panels which are located on the roof of the boathouse to minimise ongoing running costs. The impacts of climate change are incredibly real. And so we do need to think about bushfires that are becoming ever closer to our city centres. The home is located right next to a reserve which has a lot of trees and undergrowth. We worked with TAS Fire in the early days and showed them our initial designs. It was really important that we built the building out of a non-combustible material. We also see the importance of sustainability in the ongoing running of a building. One way in which we do that is to minimise footprints of buildings and build buildings that are as large as they need to be and no larger. We also respect the materials 
and the embodied energy of those materials that we use and make sure we're using things that are robust and will have a longevity so that they will still be around and still useful into the future.